I yeah. think they should come to Australia, yes. I think they deserve a place in the world the same as everybody else. I think we have, I think we have to. Have to what? Take them in. I just don't think there's, I mean, we've just got such a big country and lots of space. I think we just have to be kind in terms of the rest of the world, that's all. I think there are so many problems here on the home front that uh, need to be solved first of all before we start taking an extreme flux of people from overseas. Do you not think we have some responsibility to these people? No. We have more responsibility to people in this country. Many of these people quite possibly will die or will starve as a result of not being able to find a place to go to. Right. Doesn't that fact at least temper your thinking? No, because um, you know that situation is occurring in other parts of the world and we, mean we can't solve all the world's problems in that area at the moment. So, as I say, I think the, the main uh, priority is here on the home front. I don't think we should at this stage. We've got not? enough troubles of our own. But these people have uh, many more troubles than we have and they need somewhere to go. That's right, yes, their standards are lower too. Meaning? Oh, I think that we've got to look after our own first at the moment. I think uh, we have a responsibility to, to uh, do something for them as soon as we were involved in the war. We can't turn our back on the responsibility when we were previously involved. I think uh, we all have to think in terms of the one world, one humanity. And uh, we all have international obligations to fulfil if it's going to be a peaceful world for everybody. Do you think we should take as many as we can fit in? Yes, I do, most definitely. And then I think that we should cooperate in, in many ways to uh, make sure that the needs of these people are fulfilled. What about the racial tension that might well be created here as a result? Well, of that? I think that we have to uh, implement new education schemes um, into the schools to change people's attitudes and their prejudice. Well, we fought in Vietnam, so I think it's fair enough that we should have some sort of responsibility towards the people. What if it came to taking these people in the tens of thousands that that they exist in now. Well, don't you think it should be split up with the rest of the world, though? Well, they've got to have some place to stay, and if Australia has an economy that can support those that kind of activity, I don't see anything wrong with it. A lot if of it's going to be a burden on the economy, and uh, you really don't have the facility to support them, I don't think it's a good deal. A lot of Australians are saying we should look after ourselves first. I disagree with that. That's an isolationist philosophy. I guess it depends on whether you want an Australian country as it is now or a totally different country. My own feeling is that I rather like it the way it is. Uh, I think we should take a lot of refugees. Why do you feel that way? Well, I just feel it's an obligation to our fellow man. <laughs> How do you think Australians would react as a whole? I don't think terribly well because basically, unfortunately, we are racist, whether we like it or not. Because we're just, uh, an Asian country and we've got to recognise the fact. Do you think it would cause racial hostility in this country, though? In this country, certainly. But the sooner we get that out of our systems, the better. we we'll wake up to where we are and what we're doing. No, I don't think we're obliged to take many of them at all. Not in the numbers that they're professing to want to take into the country. Another 10,000 before Christmas or something, isn't it? If they died, if these people, men, women and children, died, rather than come to Australia, what would your choice be then? If that was the option, Australia or there death There must be other alternatives people. rather than flood our economy with them. Who's paying for them? We're paying for them. We've got a uh, hand out through taxes and so forth. We're already taxed the hilt on it. How are we going to afford them? We can't. Who's going to apply them? I don't agree with it at all. Thanks. Totally against it. We've got too many, too many on the place, on the dole now, put it that way.